Hello guys, in this video I would like to discuss Brentano and his concept of intentionality. Uh, I gotta admit, uh, Brentano is hard, um, you know, like I'm not gonna go as far as to say he is incomprehensible, but uh, it's, you know, some aspects of his philosophy are just extremely, extremely vague uh, obscure and just confusing it just doesn't make sense a lot of his stuff uh, at least to me uh, however um, the most important concept in all of his philosophy and also uh, one of the most important concepts for the 20th century philosophy is the concept of intentionality okay and that's what I would like to uh, explain to you uh, what intentionality is and uh, you know this is huge uh, like pretty much uh, Husserl gets influenced by this Freud gets influenced by this by the way uh, Freudian uh, libido is essentially intentionality um, you know definitely people like Sartre and Heidegger uh, to lesser extent Lacan Derrida, they all get influenced by this. This is really, really central stuff. I mean, this is like uh, E equals MC squared of philosophy in the 20th century. Uh, so this is our man, Franz Brentano, uh, you know, not a intellectual superstar like Freud or Heidegger, you know, like uh, perhaps you've never even heard or seen this guy, but uh, you know, his influence was tremendous. I found this uh, really cool picture of him. Like, I don't know if it's real or photoshopped. Like, seems like uh, could be either, but uh, really cool picture. All right. So, um, you know, as is often the case with philosophy, um, you know, philosophers uh, a lot of times don't just try to come up with a doctrine, but they also sort of criticize an opposing view. Um, so, um, you know, Brentano lived in, you know, most of his life, uh, he lived in the 19th uh, century, he died in the 20th, but, um, you know, most of his life he lived in the 19th century, and, uh, you know, 19th century was the century of uh, positivism, you know, this kind of scientism, you know, this view that science can answer, can answer every question uh, we can ask, including, you know, the question, what is consciousness? You know, what is the mental? What is the mind? Okay, and that's, you know, that is what he opposes that's what he is not accepting like essentially this view he does not like like sort of uh, everything kind of uh, existing out there in the physical world um, being subject to the laws of science okay like I mean this picture is pretty rough but um, this is what he criticizes this kind of positivism he um, does not think that the mind can be explained this way. Um, now, some phenomena in nature, like, uh, for instance, uh, you know, light, electricity, uh, a whole bunch of uh, physical, chemical properties can be um, understood uh, by looking at them externally, um, but not the mind, okay? Um, the mind differs okay the way we make sense of the mind differs from how we make sense of the stone here okay of an external object it's uh, different so you know he kind of tries to reclaim territory for the mind um, it was kind of usurped by positivism by um, science um, and you know he says uh, the way we study nature is not the way we study the mind. The mental is a totally different realm and he kind of reclaims it. So this picture is really rough, um, you know, but you know, this is closer to the truth than this, okay? Existence inside the head, existence outside. Now, 
Um, I'm sure like at this point, it's also pretty weird, uh, pretty, uh, like, like, I mean, what does, like, what the hell does it mean exists inside the head? Like, does it mean that just the whole world exists my, inside my head? Uh, you know, it's really, really bizarre philosophy, okay? I gotta admit, but um, that's not the case, okay? It's not that, you know, the whole world just exists in your head, you know? Like, it's not like uh, that movie The Matrix, you know, like... Uh, everything just simply exists inside your brain it's an illusion the whole world like you know exists inside your head well that's not the case okay um you know as we said we are just trying to understand the mental okay like what is the thing that makes uh, the mental different from the physical all right and uh there is a particular existence inside the mental as such okay there is a specific um type of existence and it's called intentional in existence uh, let's get back to this in the next video